Why are there not more people talking about blockchain and cryptocurrencies? All right, folks, let's dive into the world of blockchain and cryptocurrencies. Imagine a world where you can send money instantly to anyone, anywhere, without using a middleman like Safaricom's M-Pesa. Just as M-Pesa transformed how Kenyans manage money on mobile phones, blockchain technology and cryptocurrencies are revolutionizing the global financial system by offering faster, more secure and decentralized solutions. But what exactly are blockchain and cryptocurrencies and why do they matter? Let's break them down with an analogy to something familiar, M-Pesa. So, what is blockchain technology? To understand blockchain, think of it as a digital version of how M-Pesa works. But instead of Safaricom keeping the records, everyone holds a copy of every transaction. When you send money via M-Pesa, Safaricom records that transaction in a central database. With blockchain, every user in the network has a copy of the transaction log, making it transparent and nearly impossible to tamper with. Transactions are grouped into blocks, and once a block is full, it's linked to the previous block, forming a chain. These blocks are verified by a network of computers, nodes, around the world. Because the system is decentralized, there is no central authority, like Safaricom, controlling it. Each block is immutable, meaning once data is recorded, it cannot be changed. This makes blockchain highly secure and transparent. Blockchains can store all kinds of data, from medical records to supply chain details, enabling industries to operate more efficiently and securely. Now let's talk cryptocurrencies, digital money without borders. Cryptocurrencies are like digital currencies built on blockchain technology, much like how MPs are allows you to send digital money, Kenyan shillings, via your phone. However, cryptocurrencies don't rely on a central company like Safaricom to manage transactions. They are decentralized, meaning no government, bank or company controls them. In contrast with cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin or Ethereum, the blockchain itself handles verification. Your transaction is recorded on the blockchain and confirmed by the global network of computers without a middleman. The result is faster and cheaper transactions, especially for cross-border payments where traditional systems can be slow and expensive. For example, you could send Bitcoin to someone in another country within minutes, and the blockchain would keep a transparent, tamper-proof record of the transaction. Blockchain provides this level of transparency with all transactions visible on a public ledger. Once a transaction is confirmed, it's permanent and cannot be altered, preventing fraud and building trust in the system. This decentralization means that no single entity controls the system, making it more resilient to tampering, corruption or single points of failure. Cryptocurrencies can reduce or eliminate these fees by cutting out middlemen. This makes financial services more accessible to people in areas without traditional banking infrastructure. All you need is a smartphone and internet access to participate. In conclusion, just as M-Pesa redefined mobile money in Kenya, blockchain technology and cryptocurrencies are shaping the future of finance worldwide. By providing secure, transparent and decentralized financial systems, they offer new ways for people to send, receive and manage money. Blockchain's potential extends far beyond finance, with applications in supply chains, healthcare and even governance. Thanks for tuning in and I hope this gave you a clearer picture of the exciting world of blockchain and cryptocurrencies. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell for more tech insights.